Fighter jets have come a long way since their early days. But what really sets apart a fourth generation jet from a fifth or even a sixth gen fighter? And wait, there's already talk of seventh generation fighters? Stick around to learn the key differences and what the future holds for aerial warfare. Let's start with fourth generation fighters which emerged in the 1970s and 80s. These jets brought advanced avionics, digital fly-by-wire systems and beyond visual range missile capabilities. Notable examples include the F-16 Fighting Falcon, MiG-29 and Assault Mirage 2000. While powerful, their designs weren't optimized for stealth. Radar cross-sections were larger, making them more visible to enemy radars. However, these fighters emphasized high agility, powerful engines and multi-role capabilities, which were revolutionary at the time. For instance, the Su-27 flanker combined speed, range and maneuverability, making it a benchmark in its era. Enter the fifth generation fighters in the 2000s and suddenly stealth was the game changer. These jets are defined by their low observable designs, advanced sensor fusion and network centric warfare capabilities. For example, the F-22 Raptor is a master of stealth capable of dominating the skies without being detected. The F-35 Lightning II, on the other hand, brings multi-role versatility to the table with its advanced situational awareness and data sharing features. In addition to stealth, supercruise is a defining feature. This allows jets like the F-22 to sustain supersonic speeds without afterburners, conserving fuel and maintaining a tactical advantage. These fighters are essentially flying computers, integrating data from multiple sources to dominate the battlefield. Now let's talk about sixth generation fighters, the future of air dominance. Programs like the US NGAD, Next Generation Air Dominance, and Europe's FCAS, Future Combat Air System, promise game-changing capabilities. These jets aim to push the boundaries of stealth, incorporating adaptive engines for better efficiency, AI-assisted combat systems, and unmanned teaming. Imagine a fighter jet controlling a swarm of drones to overwhelm adversaries. Here's an interesting twist. China might already be ahead in this race. In 2023, reports emerged of a mysterious aircraft flying over Chinese airspace, speculated to be their sixth generation fighter, DOT, these are the videos of that fighter. Witnesses described a design unlike any known jet, sparking debates about China's progress in stealth and advanced weaponry. If confirmed, this puts China in a strong position to challenge the dominance of Western powers in the skies. Additionally, directed energy weapons like lasers and hypersonic speeds could become standard for these jets. The UK's Tempest and India's AMCA advanced medium combat aircraft are other promising players in this category. Now what about seventh generation fighters? These are still conceptual, but experts predict even more disruptive technologies. Autonomous operation could be a hallmark with jets capable of entirely unmanned missions. Enhanced quantum communication and advanced stealth systems might make these aircraft invisible not just to radar but to all forms of detection. Another fascinating idea is the integration of space and air combat capabilities. Imagine a fighter jet operating seamlessly between the atmosphere and outer space, and here's where it gets really futuristic. Brain-machine interfaces where pilots control the aircraft using their thoughts could become reality. While this sounds like science fiction, rapid technological advancements mean it might be closer than we think. So why does this evolution matter? Each generation reflects the changing nature of warfare, from dogfights in World War II to today's focus on stealth and data-driven dominance, fighter jets have always adapted to emerging threats. And as technology evolves, so does the need to stay one step ahead in aerial combat. From the iconic F-16 to the futuristic Tempest and even China's rumored sixth-gen jet, fighter jets continue to redefine what's possible. Which generation do you think has had the most significant impact on air combat? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more insights into the world of aviation.